Johnny, nice job, Leroy. Leroy will be joining us here at ringside pretty soon. He knows his boxing, he loves his boxing, and uh, he is enjoying it. Well, he's going to see the women right now as uh, we have coming up this uh, special edition, Mary Barnes versus Keisha Snow. A scheduled four-rounder for Mary Barnes. It is her second professional fight, although his first one was a second-round knockout that came a year ago. And Keisha Snow making her pro debut. She comes from Jimmy O's Starrett City Gym. It also produced uh, Shannon Briggs. And uh, she's a Golden Gloves champion and really looking forward to this one tonight. Now, we do not see many women heavyweights. And uh, these two young ladies come in both at 230 plus pounds. So actually, they, they are, uh, when you think of uh, our main event, both Al Cole and Kirk Johnson weighed in at 226. So uh, these women uh, pack a wallop, and we are looking forward to that. Mary Barnes, her nickname is Bombshell. And Keisha Snow, her nickname is Awesome. And that's what they want to bring into the ring. And Sean, in uh, so many of these uh, fights, when the women are on the card, uh, they have a way of stealing the show. And uh, these two gals looking to do the same in, in their four-round encounter. You know, in women's boxing, it seems as though there are not that many great trainers. So all of the women right now are about the same level. There's no one, one woman fighter. Or, or, or not many women fighters who have ability above the rest of the crop. So uh, what I'm looking for in this fight is a backyard brawl. Two girls that are fighting in the middle of the ring just uh, duking it out. And that's coming up next, Mary Barnes versus Keisha Snow. Tuesday Night Showdown is brought to you by Broadcast.com and by Foxwoods Casino. And we are ready for the introductions. Here's Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with the Foxwoods Resort Casino and Budweiser. This Bud's for You presents female heavyweights scheduled for four two-minute rounds. Your referee for this event from Rockaway Beach, New York, here is Tony Sherentano. Introducing the principals, first in the blue corner to my left, wearing the black trunks with the red accessories. She weighs in at 231 pounds. She is undefeated in one professional bout. That win coming by way of knockout. She fights out of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., introducing Mary Bumshell Barnes. Barnes, her opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim. She weighs in at 233 pounds. She is making her professional debut and boxes out of Brooklyn, New York, introducing Keisha Snow. Snow, four two-minute rounds, female heavyweights. Jimmy. Keisha. Keisha, Mary, you received instructions in the locker room earlier. You're boxing under the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times, and most important, obey my commands. Touch gloves. Good luck. Yes, there is a certain buzz around ballroom, the Roseland Ballroom, right now. Keisha Snow, very enthusiastic about making her pro debut. She is single. Her father is her biggest fan. Also great support from her, her boyfriend, Mary Barnes, married with three kids. And the crowd is ready. There's a jab immediately, and they go at it. We're definitely looking at World War III here. Keisha Snow with a black top separated by the referee. It is scheduled for four. Kind of get the idea we may not see all four. So let's uh, get on the seat belts and get ready right here to see this rumble. 
lot of aggression from two angry fighters. This may Keisha be. Keisha Snow says she is awesome. When I perform in the ring, <laughs> says my trainers call me awesome, using a little bit of her weight to muscle around her opponent. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha Snow. And hey, Michael, just your thoughts as you just take a look into the ring right now. <laughs> I think this is a true, ex true example of a heavyweight showdown here. Mary Barnes out of Washington, D.C. with the gold top. Getting right in there. Right. The referee uh, finding himself somewhat in danger here. Some uh, complaints. You know, when you talk about, you know, Kathy Collins, who's one of the most successful women boxers, a, a, a champion. Oh, the takedown. No, Keisha, that does not count as a knockdown. Not in this sport, anyway. But Kathy Collins, at one point, weighed around 240 pounds. She wasn't a boxer then, but that's what got her into the gym to get conditioned, and it was working so well and loved to condition by boxing. She eventually took off over 100 pounds and became a real knockout. In and out of the ring. That was not the effects of a punch, but indicating that time is running out. And one round down, and the crowd responds. Hey, let's go to Arnie is at ringside. Arnie, I believe you have uh, Reggie Miller. Let's get his thoughts after that first fight. Reggie Miller, you've had one fight, three fights in the last eight years. Gave up 45 pounds. Fantastic performance, but the decision. Well, thank you very much, sir. Um, but, you know, really, that's the way boxing is. I mean, uh, Nine times out of ten, when you get a draw, you know you won the fight. So I'll take, uh, you know, the D instead of the L. So, you know, I thank the Lord for giving me strength, making it through the fight because uh, they actually called me last night. And uh, like you say, I, you know, I haven't fought but twice in uh, the last seven years. And I'm just trying to make my comeback. I'm definitely not a heavyweight. Uh, I'm going to get my weight back down to uh, at least light heavyweight. And uh, I just like all my fans to know that uh, Miller's back. So we'll see more Miller time. Most definitely. All right, Most back definitely. to Sean and Al. Packed house here at Roseland Ballroom. This is the first uh, fight ever coming out of this uh, fabled <laughs> ballroom. In the is, ring. In the ring. Yes, it that's right. Dance hall and they may have had a number of fights like the, this fight. Yeah, but I think it's going to be first of many because as you can see yeah. the view on television it, uh, it is a remarkable arena yeah almost like the blue horizon yep. just a, a little bigger and uh, the fans are packed in they're right around the arena uh, right around the ring is uh, intimacy here and they have a balcony kind of like the blue horizon oh good right hand set up by a jab by barnes another one by barnes Barry barnes the gold top, she's 1-0 as a pro. Keisha Snow in her professional debut. Tony Tarantino has his work cut out for him as the third person in the ring. Keisha, Keisha started out early in the round putting the punches together. But now I see she's pacing herself. Well, her father, Jerome, was into boxing, so she got into it. And uh, he's doing it. She's doing it for him. She started back in 1996, went 4-0 as an amateur. Keisha Snow did in the yellow top. Right. Well, that's Barnes in the yellow. Both women at five foot seven. Barnes tipping it at 231, and Snow tipping the scale at 233. Outweighing our main event fighters tonight. Heavyweight Kirk Johnson and Al Cole. Well, it's Barnes trying to hold on and Snow tagging. Barnes thinks she's in a blizzard. And Barnes trying to make Snow fall. Right, step back, come on. Off the rope, off the rope, let's go. Well, the two of them slugging it out more in the first round. The activity kind of descending here in the second. And what is left in rounds three and four? How much energy is left? Right. Well, for the fighters, that is. Well, perhaps that's an indication that the third round may be a little askew. But here you get a, a look, a panoramic view 
of the legendary Roseland Ballroom, which was the scene of many heavyweights down through the years going back to 1919. But those heavyweights were the likes of Fred Astaire, James Cagney, Count Basie in the band, Glenn Miller, Henry James, the Dorsey brothers. You remember that? No, Michael Grant told me oh, about okay. that. I was wondering. Michael adding some uh, incredible value tidbits to the uh, to the broadcast. All right, Michael, round number three. Mary Barnes in the gold top, Keisha Snow in the black top, and uh, they come out bombing. Oh! And Keisha comes out every round in the first, first minute of the round putting the punches together. Uh, it's really going damage to Barnes. And good punches. Trying to break down the barn. Keisha Snow. Oh, good combination from Snow. When Snow throws her punches in combinations, watch as she rotates her upper body, putting all that strength of her upper body into these punches. Oh, Butterbean would be proud, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Butterbean actually might be calling in to see yeah. if he could face the winner of this the, fight. The winner or the loser. <laughs> well, both of these uh, young ladies may have been better off if they had watched the first fight. Alonzo Highsmith getting that jab out as uh, they're trying to turn this one into a barn burner. And we have seen the development of the women in the boxing game and the development of the fundamentals that they are now demonstrating more and more in the ring. Uh, this is not one of those examples as these two uh, young ladies just trying to slug this one out. Oh, but they are trying. This is the third round. They are both tired. They're both trying to throw punches. There's definitely an effort. Here. And a lot of pushing, too. How much pushing does that take out of you? Step back, please. I guess you know what about no champ. Yeah, Michael, it just it take, takes it out of you, doesn't it? Take, it? Oh, the, oh, oh, look at that. that. It's and shots like no. this. Mary Barnes like trying to hold on. Raining down. At the bell. Three rounds down. Two minutes to go. The Barnes just starting out. Shots like this hurt in the middle of the third round. <laughs> I think they all hurt, Michael. It's like I've never been hit with an easy shot. How about you? <laughs> Some shots you can appreciate. Toward the end of that third round, there was a good flurry on the attack as Keisha Snow. Look at these combinations and look at the power behind these shots. A lot of wild swinging punches, but they're landing, they're scoring, and they hurt. And she's definitely digging to the body there. At the first of the round, it was Barnes on the attack, but she was met by resistance from Snow. I guess we'll we see how, how, how both of them moving forward, and they get so close to one another. Can't punch from close. I guess we got to keep it in mind for the first minute of this last round. Yeah, how fast they start. Yeah. Well, Keisha coming Keisha on with the uh, always comes on with that snowstorm to start the rounds, and she finished strong at the end of round number three. I think Keisha's going to put on a show here. Saving it. She was pacing for the fourth round. Oh. And there right. she goes, Keisha Snow. Pouring it on. She's trying to get it out of there, guys. Yep. Trying to get the stoppage, trying to get a little help from the referee there. Oh, boy. Big shots. Snow, it takes a whole lot more energy for her to throw those punches than it would for me. Carrying Come on, a, stop the holding. Come on. A lot of weight behind those shots. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Keisha Snow. Barnes has to get her hands moving. Yes, Barnes is in a bad position right now. Step back. Step back. Come on. She, she needs to start a utilizer, moving around the ring. Oh, I tell you, too tough. She's No, she's Ladies. out. She's outnumbered here. Yeah. Well, the Roseland Ballroom. From Fred Astaire and Ray Bolger and Bo Jangles to... Mary Barnes and Keisha Snow. All the big players. Step off. Inside a minute to go in this fight. And what I'm actually looking forward to now off the ropes. Step back. is the post-fight interview when the champ steps in the ring and 
talks to uh, so many piece of snow. Oh, uh, yeah. This is why. Yep. She is out punching Barnes. Right. Yes, the boss is just trying to survive here. Hold on to that final bill. Obed Sullivan, Jesse Ferguson waiting in the wings. Ten round heavyweight matchup. Oh, listen to her grunt. Keisha, when she throws that punch, just trying to put more power into it. Even in the final round, yeah, she kept kept throwing up the attack. Even in that uh, fourth round. Yeah, she was very persistent with her punches. Oh. Very great effort by the trainer. Tried to lift Keisha Snow in victory, but uh, thought differently in the middle of the lift. Keisha starting that one with a lunging jab and ripping off the combinations with the Mary Barnes just trying to close the gap between those two and not give uh, Keisha Snow that striking distance. Keisha Snow in the four rounds, a blistering 110 punches thrown and a terrific percentage landing, 59 of those, over 54% landing. Barnes with only 61 punches throw and actually landed four punches around. So yeah, she was definitely putting her punches together in a round and coming out every minute of the round throwing at least 10 to 12 punches and effective punches at that, which pretty much wore her opponent down. All right. All right, let's get the decision on this one. Into the ring we go, and here's Mark Biro. And here he is, Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the three judges at ringside. All three judges, Steve Weisfeld, Joe Dwyer, and Melvina Lathan have scored the bout. <laughs> 40-36 to the winner by unanimous decision, the Brooklyn Bomber, Keisha Snow. Snow. I got nothing left for you. Hey, hey people, what's up? Jay Sean. The champ said he was going to work with you. I think Sean's got it. You know, Al, uh, for some time you've been telling me about a comeback, but I tell you, I wouldn't want to face somebody like this. Keisha Snow, your first victory as a as a pro, how did it feel? Well, it was very exciting. I was a little caught up in the mix of the crowd, but after a while I had to settle back and just go with it, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't going down like I thought she was, but I paced it and, you know, she wasn't doing much work, you know? Did she ever hurt you? It seemed like she came out at the first real strong. There was never anything that hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. She didn't have a punch. You know what I'm saying? Bringing it to her like I did, you know? But when she came in, all she did was hold. She didn't do no punching or anything, you know? Yeah, you were, you were punching going in. She was trying to tie you up. Yeah. What does this fight do for you now? You're a pro. You're, you're on your way. Where do you want to go? It puts me on the road to the top. When I set out in this thing, I said I wanted to be the heavyweight world champion, and that's where I'm going. Yeah. We still have some more work to do to keep it real, but by the time we get to that point, we're going to be there. How far away are you from the uh, heavyweight championship of the world? Well, let's see how many heavyweights we got out there that want to yeah. play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, matter of time. I know you're working with your coach. I know you're hey, going to get back. She's, she's going to get back on the track <laughs> and uh, continue winning. You know, this reminds me of Jackie Tonawanda. Do you remember Jackie? I'm very uh, familiar terrific, with him. Uh, terrific yeah. fighter from uh, right here she, in New York. She, she counsels me sometimes, yeah, yeah. and, and she's really great with, with me. Yeah, she's, she's great and a great fighter, and we're hopeful, hopeful for some great things from you. Thank hey, you, Keisha. You'll hear about me, no doubt. All right, boys, we got the first fight as a professional for Keisha Snow.